it just, something was amiss for me. I said, well, how does this energy that comes into you fit in with your own thought and your own will? And that's what led me down ultimately to what I'm doing now, because I'm not a really good conduit. Well, I wasn't at the time. I wasn't. It's like saying, oh, stand there, do nothing, let this energy come through you and you'll heal. And it worked. It was great. But there was something missing for me. I, I, I was like, there's something a little deeper. I need to make that connection. And so is, uh, so. is that what led you to Qigong? Yeah. So what led me to Qigong, A, it obviously is a part of Chinese medicine um, that I've always done. I've always done some form of Qigong. And uh, then I met Robert Pang, who uh, is really the one, his style of Qigong is the one that really opened up all this connection to me, understanding what this higher power is and how it relates to me as a person, how it relates to my will and how I can use it on on a daily basis to uh, balance my body. And balance others. And balance others. Yes, yes, absolutely. So can you give the listeners an understanding of Qigong and maybe we put it in the context of like Qigong, Reiki, and Tai Chi, differences, similarities? Sure. Um, So all of these energy practices definitely um, work on the understanding that there is a higher power. There is a higher energy that's beyond ourselves. That's absolutely So Reiki, as I said, just you're the conduit and you're just channeling this energy through you to heal others and yourself. Qigong and Tai Chi, um, first of all, Tai Chi is under, for me, under the umbrella of Qigong. Qigong is a practice of uh, just energy cultivation, energy nourishing, um, qi nourishing. And Tai Chi is a little bit more on a physical bent and a little bit more um, kind of poetic and dance-like, right? That's their moves are very gentle, but it is more, I would say it leans more towards the physical, although they're, they're obviously, they, they understand there's a connection between the spiritual and the physical. Um, whereas Qigong to me, well, I'd say my style of Qigong, let's just talk about my, because there's so many different styles. My style of Qigong, is a little bit more um, to the spiritual aspect of it, the spiritual and how it relates to our physical. Do you call higher power God or is it something different to you? Higher power can mean God to you. Yeah. Um, and uh, I, whenever somebody comes into my program, the first thing I say is, do you believe in a higher energy? And, it, and they'll say, yeah. Some people go, well, that's God for me. I'm like, great. Um, Some people will be like, yeah, it's just a force. It's something that for me, it's just a force that's not seen. It it is a divine force. Um, And you can call it whatever you want. Some people call it their higher self. And that and that's good, too. For me, it's all the same. It's just energy. 